Returning to one of my favourite subjects, which is first metatarsophalangeal joint injection. And here's a reference from Chow and Branzer from 1998. And they say that when you're approaching the first MTP joint, particularly under fluoroscopic guidance, to bear in mind that the joint space that you see on X-ray isn't actually directly accessible from a particularly a vertical approach because the dorsal lip of the base of the proximal phalanx is kind of in the way. And they state that the needle should be inserted about five millimeters proximal. And particularly if you're going uh, more dorsal to plantar, but also if you're going medial to lateral or indeed lateral to medial. And there's a reference from 1998. Coming up next is the picture from their article. I think that nicely shows what they're, what they're trying to get at. Thinking of guided injections, we're typically going to use some form of radio-opaque dye. Iohexol is the one that I normally use. In terms of injection technique, you can go dorsal to plantar, like in the orange needle, medial to lateral, which is my typical technique with the blue needle, or indeed lateral to medial, which is the green needle. So I've used a radio-opaque marker to point out where I think I'm going to put the needle to get into the joint. This particular Radio opaque marker is very useful because you can also write with it. Get them from America for about $200, very useful indeed. We of course have palpated the joint, we've then done a skin prep and then we've marked up the joint and you want to do it in that order. And then we're going to advance the needle into the skin and we'll take another um, baseline x-ray. Another technique tip is just to show you how much distraction you can get on the toe. If you pull it out distally, I was trying to think of the word then, distally, and try not to get your fingers in the x-ray beam um, uh, but it really opens up that joint space and uh, if you distract and plan to flex the toe it makes it much easier to get the needle in there and then after you've injected the radio opaque dye you can check x-ray again make sure you are actually in the joint and then you can inject your steroid and then a short video live cine video of the technique Here's a slow down video of the same technique, slightly more dorsal to plantar than is my normal preference, but sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. But you can really see the dye going into the joint and coating the base of the proximal phalanx and the head of the metatarsal. And it gives you really good confirmation needle placement before you inject the steroid. Thank you.